Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, or welcome if you haven't been here before. I have been gone for a while. Um, I went home to see my family, I'm back in Sweden now, but I just wasn't able to film as much as I thought I was going to be able to back home, and for a variety of reasons I just couldn't upload. So I'm sorry about that, but I will be back on my regular schedule from now on. And I'm super excited to share the little bit of footage that I did get while I was at home. So we're opening up this video with some blueberry muffins. I left the recipe down below. I should also probably say that this isn't exactly a formal what I eat in a week. I took this footage over the span of about two weeks at my mom's house. I mostly ended up filming breakfast and lunch. So if you're in the mood for some breakfast and lunch ideas, this is definitely the right place. But these muffins were really great. They were just nice to have around the house to snack on or have for breakfast. So if you'd like to bake, definitely check them out. So our first lunch idea is going to be a sweet potato bake. So I roughly chopped up some sweet potato, mixed that together with some garlic powder, paprika, nutritional yeast, salt, and lemon pepper. Got that onto my pan and got that into the oven at 450 Fahrenheit for about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I'm getting some quinoa on the stove and I'm also chopping up some carrots, some broccoli, and we are going to add that into our potatoes after they have been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm making a sauce with some hummus, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, which I totally kept spilling, uh, garlic powder, lemon pepper, salt, and a bit of water. Mixing that all around, and we're just gonna add that on top. Adding some chickpeas onto my pan as well for about the last 10 minutes of the baking time. And then we're just plating up our quinoa, plating up our sweet potatoes, our veggies, or chickpeas, topping it off with our sauce, and this was a super great lunch. So for this breakfast idea, I'm actually making something I've never made before, which is vegan French toast. So I laid out some sourdough, as you saw. You can use whatever type of bread for this you prefer, but sourdough was definitely a really good choice. I've left written instructions down below so you can follow those along, but it's just some flaxseed flour, baking powder, oat milk, and some vanilla mixed together. We're dredging our bread in that, and then we're just adding that to a pan on medium heat letting that cook for about two minutes on each side, giving it a flip. And honestly, guys, this tasted pretty much just like regular French toast. It was super delicious. And I just topped it off with some powdered sugar, some maple syrup, and some blueberries. And it was a wonderful breakfast. And then getting into another breakfast idea or lunch idea, I am just making some hash browns. So I'm cutting up some onion, some mushroom, and some bell pepper, setting that to the side while I add some frozen hash browns to a bowl. To those, I'm gonna add in my mushrooms and my veggies, adding in some lemon pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and salt. We're gonna toss that all around in some olive oil and then we're just gonna add it to a baking sheet and bake this for about 15 minutes at about 425 Fahrenheit. Um, I find that it's best if you stop somewhere in between, take them out and toss them around. And then for an additional two minutes, I put them under the broiler, which makes them very nice and crispy. I'm also chopping up some spinach and some cherry tomatoes to mix in with this, chopping up some avocado to go on top. And then it's time to just plate this up. So I got my potatoes, 
Got my avocado, a little extra lemon pepper, and this was so simple and delicious. We are making some banana bread. I am so excited, or I was so excited to be making banana bread again. I used to make this pretty frequently when I had an oven, but here in Sweden at my place, I just don't have an oven, which is totally okay. I just made a lot of baked goods while I was back home, but I left the full recipe down below, of course, but we're just mashing up our banana, adding in our wet ingredients, uh, mixing up our dry ingredients, incorporating the two and mixing it all up. Um, this is gonna bake at 350 for about 40 to 50 minutes, but like I said, recipe is below, so check that out. I also thought maybe I could take this time to tell y'all that I really hope you had a great holiday. Um, like I said earlier, um, my break was great and I was so grateful to see my family, but there were some difficult things going on, so I really appreciate your patience with waiting for me to upload as if you were just like sitting by your computer waiting for me to upload but um, I do really appreciate it and I'm so happy to be back and I hope everyone is doing really well. I had some of this banana bread probably a little bit too soon. It's a good idea to let it set up but it was super delicious. Here I am just having another hash, so you guys have seen this before, this is something I make all the time, but I just have some red potatoes with some mushrooms, bell pepper, onion, topping it off with some cherry tomatoes, and spinach like usual, and some avocado. Um, this is a super quick easy meal I make all the time, and it's very practical to just have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, so yes, showing you this yet again. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me 